Okay. How has growing up and living in the East Bay influenced me as an artist? Um, <clears throat> I think growing up, there was... Uh, I, I felt like there was a lot of... Um, a lot of different influences coming my way, whether it was like Bay Area rap or uh, East Bay punk music. Um, my dad was really into uh, Bay Area funk and like, you know, like Tower of Power and um, that sort of thing. Uh, there seems, I think compared to a lot of other cities, at least when I was growing up, um, the amount of like intermingling like culturally was really cool. Uh, it seemed like there was, um, yeah, like people had their different kind of groups, um, but at least in, you know, to a certain degree in my high school, a lot of people, despite their different like musical interests, um, were pretty open-minded, uh, and you would find, yeah, all kinds of people in unexpected like musical scenes. Um, so that was really cool. It it felt like it uh, allowed for some room to like discover a more expansive. Um, understanding of oneself, if that makes sense. Um, I think a big component for me in terms of, like, not just my musical uh, identity or influences, but also just, like, political leanings was um, being part of the punk scene um, and, like, organizing shows and, like, going to 924 Gilman and kind of like really taking in that uh, DIY ethos, um, you know, like record your own band. Uh, don't don't compromise on your intentions, like um, be be true to yourself. Um, do as much as you can like on your own and within your community. Um, I think that left a big uh, impact on on me and my my kind of outlook and, and like how I want to create art. Like I don't want to do it um, necessarily for commerce or I, I really want to just do it to be expressive. And I think, um, being put into an environment where it really wasn't about like you have to sound or play amazingly um, as long as it's like your music and you're doing it you know just purely to express yourself and and to be honest and to um, to kind of partake in culture on your own terms um, I think that was a, a big uh, component for me. Um, yeah, I think uh, just speaking to like younger artists, um, I would say community is everything. It's it's like so important. It's it's kind of. Um, especially because being a musical artist is not a easy life path and there's a lot of uncertainty. Um, it's kind of up to us as musicians uh, to really kind of look out for each other um, in terms of, uh, you know, helping each other get gigs, uh, just like emotional, mental support, ment or sorry, mental health support. Um, yeah, and becoming better, like surrounding yourself with people who are inspiring and people who are, you know, understand your kind of uh, struggles as an artist, like like what, what becomes hard about that. Um, 
I think uh, people who push you to do better, you know, I think, and it just, it, you know, it, it's obviously not um, exclusive to being a musician. Like we all need community. Um, but yeah, I, I think, um, you know, I, I feel very blessed in the community I've found in the Bay Area and, and the, ki the kinds of musicians I come across. Um, you know, I think there's just a lot of people who are really doing it for the love of music and the desire to grow and, and show up for music and as best as they can. Um, uh, yeah, and, and I think, um, you know, another thing I'd like to relay to younger people is just like, expose yourself to as much music as you can and um, <clears throat> don't make music necessarily to sound like, uh, you know, current, but like, don't shut things out, like really absorb as much as you can and, and you'll be able to like, filter um this whole world of music and it's gonna come out in your own way um but just keep exposing yourself to new ideas um it's it's like what i feel like keeps you from getting old and it keeps you fresh and original to just um yeah have an open mind keep listening